Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. And if you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing and coming back. Either way, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. One of my favorite things to watch after a long week or trying to unwind after a long call is carpool karaoke. Yes, from the Late Late Show with James Corden. It's just, it's hilarious. James is hilarious. And then you add in some amazing music, then the celebrities themselves. And the interplay of those three, it's just, it's pure entertainment. If you haven't watched it, you gotta watch it. Now that being said, as a trauma surgeon, sometimes I do have reactions that are probably a little bit different from most of you. And by reactions, I mean a little bit of, ooh, and maybe a lot of, ah, oh, no, please don't do that. Ooh. Why is that? Seatbelts. Seatbelts save lives. In fact, I see this every single day. And unfortunately, though, wearing a seatbelt incorrectly can lead to injuries that you wouldn't otherwise have. And it looks to me like there are some celebrities out there who need a bit of a primer on how to wear a seatbelt correctly. So that's why I'm here to help review not only how to wear a seatbelt, but also let's dissect down some of those cringeworthy moments from carpool karaoke. First, let's review how to wear that seatbelt correctly. And to show us that, let's go to none other than JLo. JLo is wearing the seatbelt correctly. The lap belt is low and tight across the hips and the shoulder strap is hitting exactly where it should over the collarbone, right about here. And she keeps it that way throughout the entire ride. JLo gets an A+. Adele, as you can see here, is also wearing her seatbelt correctly. As a side note though, this is not where you want to store hot beverages during a car ride. Just trust me on that one. Now that we've seen JLo and Adele show us how to wear it correctly, let's look through some celebrities that may not have had as much success. Celine Dion. Girlfriend, you are, you are close, just not quite. As you can see in the photo, the shoulder strap isn't directly on her collarbone, but further out and over the shoulder. Trust me on this one, you definitely don't wanna get in a car accident with a seat belt directly going over your shoulder joint. Now Miley here has a little bit of the opposite problem in the sense that throughout the ride at times, the seat belt starts to creep up towards her neck. Also a problem, wearing a seat belt too high up on your neck puts you at a risk for blunt cerebrovascular injury, which basically means the arteries that supply your brain go through your neck, and the seat belt can actually cause an injury in those arteries, which can lead to strokes. So let's stay away from the strokes and let's keep the seat belts where they should be further out and off the neck. Next up are two ladies with a similar problem, Cardi B and Mariah Carey. Now let's just stop here for a second and let's talk about boobs. The shoulder portion of your seatbelt should lie between the breasts, which is clearly not what's happening in either one of these pictures. Now, if you were to get in a car accident with the seatbelt in this position, well, let's just say, ouch. I'm talking bruises, contusions, and if there's an implant in there, implants can actually rupture. Rupture is never a good word. Let's just stay away from it. Oh, Barbara. Oh, Miss Barbara Streisand. Our seatbelts just keep falling. So even lower than Cardi B and Mariah Carey, you can see here that Barbara's wearing her seatbelt not only below her breast, but really across her abdomen. And this puts you at a risk for increased injuries inside your belly. So unless you want cracks where there shouldn't be cracks, or you want me taking out part of your bowels because they've ruptured from the seatbelt, putting pressure on it, just don't wear your seatbelt this way. This one hurts. Lady Gaga, I love you. You're so brilliant, you're so talented. But in this situation, I gotta give you an F. Because although when you're wearing your seatbelt, it is in the right position, you're not wearing the seatbelt the whole time or throughout the ride. And it's just a big no-no. If the car is moving, your seatbelt's gotta be on. Last, but certainly not least, one of the queens of pop, Madonna. While she's striking one of her many poses during the song Vogue, 
great song. Uh, she unfortunately not only undoes her seatbelt, which we've already talked about as a big no-no, but then she strikes this pose. Now, I can't say for sure all the injuries that might happen if you get in a car accident like this, but I can say probably would involve a hip replacement. In recap, for all my celebrities out there who are going to be future guests on Carpool Karaoke, I can't wait to watch you, but just remember these two rules. There are only two rules when it comes to seatbelts. Number one, wear it. And number two, wear it correctly. The lap belt should be low and tight across the hips. For all my pregnant mamas out there, that means that lap belt goes below the baby bump. The shoulder strap goes between the breasts and over the clavicle, not on the neck and not on the shoulder. If you need to adjust where this hits you, you can do that either on the side of the car by moving where the seatbelt inserts up and down, or by adjusting the height of your seat, up or down. Now that we've got this figured out, I can't wait to see the next and the new and every single future carpool karaoke, but without the cringing this time. From your friendly neighborhood trauma surgeon, keep it belted, keep it in the right spot, and I'll see you next time.